all my life I had to fight like Sophia Right my wrongs in this world that's full of evil Most of the faces looking at me are real deceitful I don't Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel It's your girl Empress K coming to you guys with a pop-up reading I'm not gonna subject, subjectize I'm gonna just see whatever comes out See whatever comes out Okay. And after this last collective, we'll be going into the zodiac signs once again to open in the month of March. Okay. I'm here. Spring is here. Spring is here. It's the best time of year. In my head, something big is gonna be happening to for you guys. But I'm seeing the king of wands though. I'm seeing someone that is determined, someone that is laser focused. They refuse to give up. They are very empowered, very strong. Not too much of a pushover. This could be a fire sign. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. But I'm also seeing a big leap in financials. And we've been getting that a lot. It's so much that it's going to confuse you. Well, I feel like not confuse you, confuse others. I'm seeing you guys getting finances coming out every which way. You guys may have two different opportunities presenting to y'all self, presenting to y'all, I mean, or y'all may be presenting these opportunities to y'all self. It's like y'all could have emotionally felt something to go another way. Yeah, because two two is here. Some of you guys may be seeing two twos a lot, but I'm seeing you guys taking the world into y'all hand, and I'm also seeing forward movement. I'm seeing forward movement. I'm seeing that you guys, whatever y'all looking at, y'all refuse to take your eyes off the prize. Mm -hmm. Whatever y'all looking at from a distance, y'all may be seeing something. Some of you guys are visionaries. Y'all seeing something here. And the King of Cups fell upside down. Some of you guys could be disregarding a commitment or not even looking for a commitment. Or someone that you guys broke up with that y'all was in heavy commitment with. This person is battling and going through it. It's crazy how, okay, so I'm seeing what's going on. This is you. This is your energy at the top. Meanwhile, this is your person's energy at the bottom. Because the king, the, the king of cups is upside down. Then we have the nine of wands. Then we have the four of cups here. So this is someone who feels like they, they missed out on an opportunity with you. Because you're no longer looking at them. You're no longer looking at them. You're no longer thinking about them. It's like where they thinking about you, you not thinking. It's like you looking elsewhere. It's like you blinded here and then over here you looking elsewhere. It's like you not even... I, I feel like you refuse to go into something blindfolded again or allow someone to corrupt your mind again or have you confused again. Yeah. It's like it's crazy how this person is now looking towards love and you looking towards it having the world, like having it all. I don't know why these cards making me look at it as the rose has changed. You guys may have may be deciding on a movement or may deciding on some of you guys may have been getting mixed signals regarding a move or mixed signals regarding the opportunity. But I'm seeing that you guys are finally choosing. Yep, you guys are finally ending something because y'all choosing something else. So it's like the two decisions or the two headed hearts that's been bothering y'all is no longer. It's like I'm also seeing that someone is gonna try to fight for you to not do that not in something someone is gonna watch someone is gonna observe they're gonna be like in the way of you moving forward i feel like you guys are finally learning how to be content alone it's like you guys are no longer looking for someone to fulfill you you fulfilling yourself it's like you took responsibility you took care you, you took something head on yeah, it's like you understood the assignment and your other your your person didn't because it's like this look like two people getting the same type of message, right? 
but you may have got it and the other person didn't but it would have took both of y'all to open up the doors to make it happen but someone slower was lacking like a lacking or a slow down like energy yeah and look at this the eight of cups is here you tired of the stagnant routine you tired of going through the same thing over and over and over again oh baby when i'm telling y'all y'all turning away from a lot of mishaps y'all turning away i'm also seeing y'all gonna be more it's like when this person view y'all they're gonna be viewing a top notch like everything that you touch is growing like looking at you as a star looking at you as someone that has grown tremendously especially we got a lot of fire signs sagittarius heavy sagittarius you guys are heavily here and it's crazy how i start the zodiac sign off with y'all and y'all energy is definitely here heavy and the three of the three of swords is here so it's like this person not only did he break he or she break your heart but they broke the heart of your guardian angels they broke the heart of god they broke the heart because this relationship was meant to be it's like this was something that was meant to happen that was bound to happen you guys already had been shook off on it or something but intuitively you guys look at this look at this it's like y'all intuition is is guiding y'all and some of you guys are spiritualists like me and i'm telling y'all y'all gonna be very gifted and talented in that department other you guys y'all just may be visualizing a new beginning at a job at a job at a workforce at a workplace and it's like y'all working so hard that y'all not even paying attention to the emotions that you do have for this person because y'all do have emotions for this person y'all do have it there but it's like y'all had to show this person that you won't be there infinity like i'm not gonna always be here or i'm not gonna always tolerate i'm not gonna always you know allow you to juggle while i'm passing you my heart or giving you a full commitment it's like this is what's the, the the routine that is changing it's like you only accepting full pure love you're not accepting nothing else so it's like i feel like you guys have grown up i'm, I'm hearing a sign of independence independence it's like pride the good pride though not the pride that you know that make people look at you as a snob i'm seeing good pride okay so let's see let's see what's going on here since i wonder why that energy was coming out like that you're not required to get this person nothing else y'all y'all done gave them everything you're not required to do anything else. You're not required to call this person and try to fix things. You're not required to try to plead the fit or do anything. At this at this point in time, this separation is strictly because of your person. Okay? So this says nothing that you need to fix for those that's wondering, should I fix it? No, this is something that they need to fix because they the ones that can't give you nothing solid. That's why the commitment was there for you and not for them. So the Queen of Cups was upright for you, but the King of Cups was downright for them. And I'm seeing an ending here. You guys are ending this routine, this pattern. And it's killing not only you to lead this person, but them too, because y'all both feel the same thing about this connection. So it's like the whole time they knew that they was giving you cold feet or giving you cold like energy. Yeah, this person is about to get so desperate. They need, a, they need answers. They need to talk to you you shutting down on this person or you walking away permanently is making this person lose their cool they are on the verge of texting you they stress the hell out whatever they at, they are stressed out they are stressed out divine timing is here so that's what i'm saying not only did they piss you off they pissed god off too mm -hmm. like they want to know how you can't give them nothing solid and we already shook on this. This was something that you already... So the same intuitions that you was getting, they've been coming out a lot lately. Your person been getting it too. Opening up is here. So I'm seeing doors are opening. A pathway is being cleared. I feel like when it comes to this situation, not only was the pathway closed, but your person was closed off. They was closed off. They was fighting it. They didn't want no part of it. They was trying to resist it as much as they could. They was fighting the urge, fighting the flame, fighting the fire, fire and desire. The new beginning is here. 
So I'm seeing, yeah, you guys are the perfect match. If you guys was to end and start and restart with this person, it will be it, it will be different. It will be a different type of vibe, a different type of energy. And I'm seeing it was gonna require you to take a risk though. And I'm like, I'm getting a nug and tug on it. I'm just getting, I'm seeing a nug and tug. Yeah, it's like they know, look at this, they fighting the sight of them marrying you. This person know that they should commit to you. That's why I'm telling you. The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups was there for a reason. It's supposed to be a marriage. You and this person is not supposed to be going through all this bull crap. It's supposed to be a marriage. It's supposed to be a setting. Three is a crowd, though, so there's a third party. There's someone else involved that's keeping this commitment from happening. And I'm seeing this person do what they do on purpose. They fight this connection on purpose. But look at this. Divine Tom and they, they no longer going to be able to fight this. So it's like they fighting as much as they could to hold on to they love or to hold on to you viewing or thinking of them as someone that's ready to settle down. And I'm seeing self-love is here. So you can't read this person. You guys are working on y'all self though. I'm seeing y'all working on y'all self. Y'all focusing on y'all. Meanwhile, this is the energy. Unfazed and ex escapes them. So it's like in, in public, this person is looking like they unfazed. But even behind closed doors, they drinking a lot. They smoking a lot. They in their thoughts a lot. They can't even cooperate right. So it's like wherever they going to at night or wherever they going to by the end of the day, when they get there is a is a glooming like energy. It's a gloomy like energy. It's like bored, drink all day. And I'm seeing moving secretly is here. This person is moving in silence. They they don't want to let you know they're willing to change. It's like this somebody they want to think that change is on day on day timing and not anyone else timing. But not for you, an apology is here. This person, they put a sour taste in your mouth about them. And they're going to be apologizing about that. They never wanted to make you feel like you had to stop completely with messing with them or trusting them. They didn't mean for it to go this far. They didn't mean for it to go this far. This person is praying and manifesting for this connection. Yeah, but it's like, make them prove it. Make them prove it to you. Because it's like... Okay, you praying and you saying you, you want it, but it's like the universe even makes us prove to them that they want it, you know? So it's like you you saying you want it, but it's like you got to show, you know what I'm saying? And I'm saying travel here. This person is going to start taking you places. Are they going to travel to you if this is a long distance connection? They're going to start coming towards you. It's, hold up. I don't know why when I said if only, I'm here. if only you knew how much I do, do love you in my head that song and they said if only there was a way i could make you feel my love so they're gonna start chasing you because they they are gonna be in a desire to win you back over and they are gonna stick to being alone and strategizing until they can make this happen so this person is in solitude they spending a lot of time alone that's why it's so gloomy you think they it may be other women or it may be it is a third party but look what i said they coming out again your choice the other okay so i'm seeing it it's basically up to you it's basically up to you and what you're gonna do and what you're gonna decide because there is someone that's influencing this person actions and you already know this you already know this a lot of you guys already know it yeah it's like it's a lot of drama over there with this other party and it's like they they feeling like they are helpless in this situation. They feel like they, they don't have any other options. They feel like they can't go to you because it's like they it's they got too much going on. Whatever they arguing with about this person, this could be bills, this could be a financial situation, this could be a, a, a battle with about who if I should leave, who gonna take what, you know, that type of energy. But they feel like they can't they can't get themselves out of this situation with this other party. And they're going to change. They gonna, what's what's going to change is them living this double life. See, on the outside, hold up, where them cars at? Where is them cars at? Because this is the exact energy that just came out, like, back to back. Where is it? They escaped some. And the unfazed. Look at this. Don't this look like? It's like... Here, they unfazed. On the other side, they about to lose their shit. They about to lose their cool. It's like this person 
has played around for the longest with these two energies, like unfazed. And then when they get home, they're trying to escape from the reality of the matter is they don't even want to be where they are at. So it's like the double life that they've been living is, is going to change. They don't want to keep reverting. That's why you get mixed signals. It's like one minute you don't feel no way about this person being gone. And then the next minute you feel deep, a deep void in your heart for this person. And you can't explain it. It's like you feel like a deep hurt, a deep pain. You can't explain it. You don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So this in this energy then turned out to be a twin flame reading. So you guys got a twin flame reading here. So we're gonna classify it as twin flame now that we know what we're dealing with. Okay, so I'm gonna get some thoughts regarding this person. Okay, we're gonna see what thoughts they running away from because that's what they doing. Yep, that's, that's exactly what they're doing. They running away. Okay. This card came out first. Ready to settle down. So that's the change. The double life. They ready to settle down. And they tell you hateful things to attack your ego. So there's someone that's going to be very mean with their words. And say things that'll get you out of character and make you upset. This person do want more kids. They do want to have more children. Especially with you. But they look, they had love for someone else. It was always someone else in the middle. And they did have a lot of love for this person. But it was trauma. It was traumatic love. It's this person, they met this person through their traumas. And this person had traumas. And they stood it out. Even though they knew that it was a karmic. Even though they knew that it, they just, the only thing that they kind of agreed on or sat down or meddled down with, with this connection was based off of what they was going through, you know? Look at this. They love weak women and weak women. They easier to manipulate. So it's like they were manipulating this other party. They were manipulating the other party. The other party was kind of gullible. They just wanted to be loved just like your person did. So they met the type of person that they kind of needed because at the time they were weak. Okay. So they couldn't go up to no alpha female because they didn't have it on an alpha male because they didn't have it in them. They didn't feel good about themselves to branch off like that in that way so they choose somebody that was a little bit beneath their level and your level because that's something that they can you know control or felt like they 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 felt that macho energy with but they want to redeem themselves they want to redeem themselves uh they was too damaged before they they couldn't give you anything serious that's why they couldn't give you nothing solid because they was too damaged so that's why the nothing solid came out they couldn't offer you that they wasn't offering that shit to their damn self if you looking for, you know, low people, you looking for low vibrational people, that means that you in low vibration, you know. But they face card is off the chart. So they use their looks, they name to get by a lot. And Chaser is here again. So this person is definitely in the mode to chase. But they used to other people chasing them. That's the crazy part. I'm, I'm just the rose changing. As the season changes, so is the rose. And I'm seeing lack of pur purpose here. This person feel like if nobody is not chasing them, they don't they don't have no purpose. So they may have been in a situation where they where they were um they were isolated a lot in their life. It could also mean that they were abandoned as a child. But you look at this, you turning this boy into a man or this girl into a, a woman. So you changing them by not even thinking you changing them. Today is the day. So they are getting sick and tired of being sick and tired. Child support is taking all their earnings. So they could be dealing with a governmental situation. And that's why they feel like they can't come towards you. Because running, it's like they run away from their problems. They know that you may not do with or take what this other party is taking. They may have financial issues and they like, I don't think they're going to take me like that. If they financials is together, if they got their own house and they stable and they have their own everything, it's going to be hard to get somebody like that to accept me, you know? So that's the way that they looking at it. You got a friend in me trapped. So it's like they, they trapped in a situation that they don't know how to get out of, but they trying to still be your friend. They trying to still be supportive to you, even though they have this situation where they feel like they can't get out of this, that helpless energy again. And I'm sorry I overreacted. You are not alone. Look at this. They've been overreacting. They've been saying shit that they shouldn't have said. They've been doing stuff that they should have never did. But you not you not the only one that's feeling the same, the feeling that way is what they want you to know. They feeling that energy as well. Cause it's coming from them. Okay? You won't be happy in peace. 
You can't trust me around friends or family. So whoever they know, they're going to be getting information on you. Whoever they know, because they ain't about to let you be happy. They may be sending messages through friends and family. Empress is here. They feel like you are the queen of the castle or the king of the castle. They feel like you belong here. Someone touched this person as a kid. Someone messed with this child. When they was a child, look at this. Your alpha energy makes them feel needless. I said that they want the low vibrational because they can't take that alpha energy. I want to have more than you is here. That's why they doing what they doing. They running. They choosing to run because your energy is too strong for them. So they trying to have more to try to get over you. And that's what they've been all about game. Pretending they were single, just doing doing the most. You hear? Doing the most. And pain is their middle name. So they projecting that pain on you. They want to come home so bad. And that's why they sending y'all them hate messages so bad. <laughs> they want to come home. They eager. They, they irking. It's like they irking. Or you know how you, you got to get a dose. You got to have something. It's like they fiending. You're so beautiful. Not sure about this union. I'll hold you down. Look, I'm telling you, it's all here. The energy that you've been feeling lately, you're not sure. One minute you sure about their connection. The next minute you're not sure about the connection. So y'all kind of both been going, you know, doing the back and forth. Been going this way and that way with the connection. Because y'all kind of both don't know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both don't know what's going on. Or what's going to transpire here, you know? Okay, so I thank you guys for tuning in, Twin Flame. I might as well do one more collective for Soulmates. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna upload that probably later on today, since we did Twin Flames to help those that's already in a soulmate connection. So it won't just target those that's in a Twin Flame, and you're not with your person. Y'all separated, or y'all going through it? Okay. So I thank y'all for tuning in, and y'all have a lovely evening. Um, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and also that notification bell to be notified for more.